guys, what is up? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. So, I need to grab my Fitbit real quick. Little disclaimer, I always put a disclaimer in all these videos. If you had not had weight loss surgery, you do not need to be eating this little. However, these videos are just for educational purposes. Um, you can eat the same things, just eat a bigger portion. Eat for what your body needs. Anyways, okay, let's jump into the video. Me and my mom are gonna go to a couple of stores today, so I'm just been having a really quick first meal. It's not like breakfast time, but first meal, I've been up for a little bit, and I just decided not to eat. That's not good, but it is what it is. So I'm eating now, so I have something super exciting to tell you guys about. Instagram already knows. So I talked about this brand, Built Bar, on my Instagram. And I, chef's kiss, it's so freaking good. So I reached out to the company and was like, hey, is there any way that I can get a discount code for my followers? They were like, of course. And actually, we would love for you to become an ambassador. So they sent me an ambassador program. And basically, like, I got a discount code for you guys. But also, I also make money from it too. So it's amazing, like, I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for being so supportive and helping me reach my dreams. I've said this on my Instagram, you know, time and time again, that one of my biggest dreams is to become like an influencer, I guess, somebody that has following and is able to talk to people about real things that are happening. So the fact that I'm able to share this with you guys is insane. It's like the first step to like what I'm trying to do so I'm excited so I am actually eating banana bread I can only eat a couple bites so I'm gonna eat the rest of this banana bread one there's like I don't know there's really not much in here like that much and I'm telling you these really fill me up and then I'll probably eat a couple bites of this one this is almost the full bar my top three favorite I don't have the other one but my top three favorite bars, because I know a lot of people have been asking me this um, for the discount code, which by the way, the discount code is on the screen right here. But my favorite, so third place would be mint brownie. This tastes like mint Oreos, not even kidding. Second place would be the banana nut bread. If you are allergic to nuts or don't like nuts, then obviously don't go with this one because there is actual nuts inside the bar. And then first place would be Cherry Garcia. It's so good. It seriously tastes like Cherry Garcia uh, ice cream, except it doesn't have, you know, a thousand calories in it, and it actually has a good amount of protein. Yeah, if you guys want to order some, there will be a link in the top of the description. So this is going to be my first meal. Oh, and I freeze my bars. So good. This one being frozen tastes like a little, I don't know, like ice cream. Like, I'm I'm telling you guys, they taste so freaking good. They're going to have a Black Friday deal. Use my code and you'll save you some money. And it helps me out. It helps support me. So, yeah, this is my first meal. And then me and my mom are going to leave. I always take my Hydro Flask full of water with me. I want to show you guys what I get like when I'm out and about to give you guys ideas and we normally take stuff with us like we'll take cheese yogurt something like that you guys know I live off of yogurt yeah I could take one of these bars all right so my mom and I just got Starbucks I got a tall toasted white mocha toasted chocolate mocha I don't know um, I'll put it on the screen whatever it was but I got a tall um, this is like my first of the season and probably not going to be like a ton of them but so i'm going to give an update on the starbucks drink that i just got it was delicious however it was still too much for me like i got a tall but what i mean is like it was too much to drink um so i didn't feel obligated to drink it all uh we're just going across the street if you're wondering why the seatbelt thing is going off okay we put our seatbelt on just so you guys know um, one thing that one of my friends who had the weight loss surgery said um, was that, you know, if you're having three of the higher calorie Starbucks drinks for the season, it really doesn't matter. Like, it's, it's not going to make a huge difference in your progress or anything like that. So, I just want to put that out there. Um, 
and yeah, it was delicious. I enjoyed it. I actually enjoy drinks more than I used to, like before I had surgery. I used to just suck down drinks quickly and now I can't do that, so I enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, so I told you guys that I would show you how, like me and my mom, if you guys are seeing the one, that's my dog that did this to the window. But um, I told you guys I would show you how me and my mom eat if we don't pack something, um, like at a fast food restaurant or something. So we just went to Wendy's. Wendy's and Chick-fil-A are like the best places to get like a bariatric friendly meal just because they have salad options. So we got the taco salad and with the taco salad you get a chili. And the reason this is important is because you need protein. So we usually, um, I put a couple spoonfuls, uh, spoonfuls of chili. It comes with chips, we just crush those up as our carb. And then we just get the half salad um, because even the half salad, we still end up with more food than we need. And there's no smaller version of it. So I'm gonna put some lettuce on one side of the container. This is gonna be my side and cheese. So the rest of this, my mom is gonna eat. And not the rest of it. But... Well, not the rest of it, but you know, some of it. So this is my little thing of lettuce. And I'm just gonna take some couple spoons of chili and put it on top. It also comes with salsa and sour cream. So I'm gonna put some salsa on top as well. And the sour cream, um, just a little bit. And then we crush up the chips and we put a little bit on there too. In my opinion, it's a really balanced meal. So this is my lunch, my second meal of the day. It's been a really long time since we ate. And this should keep me full for a while because there's some good protein in here, there's some vegetables, and there's a healthy fat and carbs. And I actually like to eat this with a spoon from here for some reason. So this is one option. Um, if we go to like Chick-fil-A, we get an eight piece chicken nugget, which we could actually do, is there a smaller one? Cause that was our first time going to Chick-fil-A last time we went. Um, and we ended up having leftover chicken. Yeah, those are small ones. So we could probably go with the smallest option for the chicken, which I think is a six piece. Or is it a four piece? Four piece. Yeah, we could probably do the four piece. And then we got a side salad with that. And the ranch they have there is amazing, by the way. Loved it. It's obviously always best to pack something. But let's say you didn't plan on being out super long. This is just an option. And obviously for the video today, I kind of was like, I'm going to make sure I show you guys an option. But this is the fast food option. It's tasty. Doesn't look too pretty, but it's tasty. Okay, so I found these at Target um, a couple days ago. And they are absolutely amazing. If you ever tried Amaretto ice cream from like, I don't even remember the name of the place, but like an Amaretto type of anything, Amaretto cookies, this is what this tastes like. And it's the Yasso brand, so one bar, these are the stats. That's amazing. I bought four boxes. And we've only been able to find them at Target. Okay, so for dinner I'm having a like BLT salad with a scoop of cottage cheese on the side. But this has tomatoes, bacon, cucumber, one pepperoni sliced up, um, Parmesan cheese, and Caesar dressing. Because that's a dressing I like, and then my cottage cheese with pepper on it. Okay, so I had um, probably a serving of this pumpkin roll. Okay, so I took a shower and all that stuff. Um, it's been a while. So I just had a slice of pumpkin roll. I think that's what it's just called. I think it's just called a pumpkin roll. I had to really fight myself on like not getting sick. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I don't know if anybody else feels this way. Um, like starts to feel bad when they eat something that has sugar in it or carbs or something like that. And for me, after surgery, it's like, I don't wanna feel like I'm wasting my chance or like opportunity with surgery. So, I don't know. I Like I start feeling like I'm gonna get sick and this isn't dumping. I know the difference between dumping and just like me making myself feel sick because of guilt. And this is definitely one of those moments. I didn't get sick, by the way. I'm completely fine. Uh, it's just like, I started to feel really guilty. And I shouldn't. I'm allowed to have a piece of pumpkin roll if I want to. And might I add, I only had a serving 
of the pumpkin roll. Before surgery, I probably would have ate half of the pumpkin roll. <laughs> I have to tell myself and let myself know it's okay. Now, if my stomach denies it, then that's a totally different subject. And to be honest, I believe in moderation and I just thought that it was really important that I show you guys that. Just because, you know, everybody on the internet seems to make everyone believe that they're perfect, that weight loss is a straight line, and it's not. You know, there's going to be days where you want a freaking pumpkin roll and no matter how much you try to say no, you're going to say yes. And that's okay. Telling yourself that and really, really enjoying it, that's going to be the difference between my old self and who I am today and who I'm going to be in, you know, the next couple months. Because I'm not going to be the same person. But I just thought that that was super important to include in this video. Um, I was really self-conscious about it, I'm not going to lie. And I pride myself on being open and honest with you guys. For everything. Honest, I feel full. I feel satisfied. My sweet tooth has been crushed. Um, you know, with the upcoming holidays coming around, it, you, just to let you know, like, it's okay to enjoy those sweets. Even after weight loss surgery. One day, it's not going to mess up your progress. So, with that being said, Thanksgiving, me and Mello a mini plate, we're going off. <laughs> But I will actually show you guys what I ate that day, um, just because I think it's super important. That's my day. That's what I ate today. And that's really all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we always want you here. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day.